Hello everyone. Um, the purpose of this tutorial is to give you um, general navigation strategies um, within uh, data.census.gov so that um, you can you'll be able to find um, what you're looking for in regards to census data and American Community Survey um, information. So um, if you're a beginner um, at looking at this type of information and um, you haven't used um, American Fact Finder, the old um, census data server, um, I recommend just starting by asking a question. Um, asking a question that you're interested in and it'll try to pull up data that best meets that question. So what I'm gonna ask is, what is commuting time in Phoenix? So I'm just gonna, that's just the question I'm gonna ask. What is the commuting time in Phoenix? And in the Explore data, it provides the average commuting time, oh, sorry, let's go back, um, as 25.7. And I look further down, um, it gives me commuting characteristics by sex. So it provides this information um, as well. And it also has a table of means of transportation to work by selected characteristics, means of transportation to work by selected characteristics for workplace geography. So it provides as much information as possible in tables related to that question. You can select your table um, by how it meets um, your needs. So the, the first recommendation that I make is to just ask, just ask the question. You know, just see um, if it has the answer that you're looking for um, at the top. Because if you're looking for what is the commuting time, average commuting time in Phoenix, 25.7 minutes with a you know, margin of error of 0.4 minutes is the average travel time according to the 2018 American Community Survey. And if that's all you need, you're done. You've gotten your information. But if you need something else, it provides other tables that could provide um, further context. So if I do um, click on one of these tables, um, it'll pull up all of this information so it has um, uh, age by, you know, car, truck, van, car, truck, or van, carpooled, public transportation. It has all this information um, for the city of Phoenix, Arizona. As you can see, by occupation, it provides this information, by industry. So it has a lot of good information um, if you want to dial down um, into this. And if this is um, the table that you're, you're looking for, you can simply click download, check that table, and then download the selected. And it'll allow you to, you know, download it by CSV, um, and then select the years that you want um, for that particular information. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. But that's how you can get um, information just by quickly asking a question. So I'm going to go back to the start and I am going to um, just click enter. And the other way to navigate, um, particularly if you're, if you're looking for a region that might not be easy um, to define, is to um, navigate by maps. So um, you can navigate by left click and holding allows you to drag the screen. Your scroll arrow allows you to zoom in. If you don't have a little scroll wheel on your mouse, you can use the in and out. But if as you zoom in, all features and details in the map. So um, right now, the geographies is by state. So if I click and select the state, it'll pull up all of the tables for that state. Um, but if I want to go at a different type of geography and look at a different type of geography, I've got region, division, state, metropolitan area, county, county subdivision, place, um, congressional district, consolidated city, and a bunch of other state legislative, um, upper and lower districts, um, American Indian, Alaska Native, Hawaiian area, elementary school district, zip po code, tabulation area, tribal subdivision, all of these different geographic options. So if I click on um, 
tribal uh, or American Alaska Native Hawaiian area, it'll now identify areas on the map that are tribal areas. So if I go to um, Fort McDowell, left click, and then tell it to select that area, now all of these tables here will be for this area. And I can choose which data that I would like as well. I could choose the 2010 information, so that's most likely census data, or I could choose one of the American Community Survey years. So when I click on one of these tables, um, for instance, age and sex, and then I click. So when you click table, it should, um, for whichever field over here that you select, create a data table for the geography that you selected. So right now, um, age and sex, it's showing male and female broken down by um, age categories um, within uh, Fort McDowell. So that's a way you can use geography to find the information um, that you're looking for. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to um, show you how to use advanced search to find um, this information and to find additional um, information for different target areas.